has a soccer game this um, evening in Louisville, so excited about that ish. <laughs> um, when we signed him up for soccer, we kind of didn't know that it was going to be a travel team, but actually he has done really well and we've kind of enjoyed it. So it's been nice. But um, anyways, I hope you are having a great Sunday as well. Um, a lot of people are, take Sundays to do some meal prep and I hope that you guys um, find that very helpful. That's something that I'm going to talk just a little bit about today. Um, but update on that. Um, hopefully my connection stays good because it's telling me the um, sticks, <laughs> we'll call it. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me. If you can hear me, give me a big thumbs up or um, high five or something so that I know um, the connection is decent enough that I can continue. If not, I might have to hop off and fix my internet or something, but Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a, an update on my sugar elimination challenge that I've been doing through um, the Faster Way VIP membership or with the for the fall. You want to share that, put that in the comments below, anything you want to um, provide so that I can share that with um, the community. I would love that. So, okay, I got a thumbs up. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, and I'll just kind of get to it. So if you guys um, caught one of my videos previously um, in the in the week, last week, this week, earlier this week, um, you know that I have done this sugar elimination. And so Monday, I did some meal prep to kind of go along with the challenge. Um, and then I did a video also here on my Facebook page kind of talking through what sugar does to our bodies and why it's important to at least um, minimize it in our diets or completely eliminate it if possible or practical. Um, so I've given you guys a little bit of information about that this week. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram though, that's where you'll get the bulk of my kind of day-to-day -day life. Um, I try to share um, as much information as possible into my daily routine, how I live the faster way day to day on my Instagram stories. So um, follow me on Instagram um, if you want to kind of stay up to date on what I'm doing day to day. And you can see how um, my meals and how I'm working out and, you know, just little tidbits of each and every day so that you can really uh, follow me along as I live this lifestyle with you. Um, first, before I get into the bulk of what I wanted to talk about today, I wanted to mention that I'm closing registration. So if you have not already registered, I would encourage you to do that um, ASAP before I close registration. Um, this is a really good time to kind of get things in check before the holidays come around. So I hope that you guys will join me. And if if you um, have already registered, check your email, even check your junk mail if you don't see an email from me there. Um, but there should be an email in your inbox with the link to join our Facebook accountability group. So um, I'm really excited to get started with you all tomorrow um, as we start prep week. Feeling behind, no worries. Um, you will not be behind because we just simply learn and practice through the first week. There's no need to be prepared, get prepared, go grocery shopping. You don't have to do anything like that in order to jump right in. So um, I have a hair that keeps bothering my arm. But so yes, I encourage you all to start tomorrow and hopefully we can manage the holidays together um, and be um, in control. So that is my hope for you guys. Um, if you're a returning client, kind of an update on how I have done through this sugar elimination challenge so far. So we are a week in. We started on Monday. Um, I will be completely honest with you because that is what I always do. I'm going to tell you guys the good and the bad and the ugly um, because I don't believe in um, making it all rainbow. Life is just not. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys what has gone well and what hasn't and some of the things that I have implemented um, this week that I think have in allowed me to be as successful as I have been through this first week. Um, so the first thing I wanted to mention is, you know, 
Um, as I was even doing the prep, my meal prep on Monday, um, so let me backtrack. First of all, we get a meal plan um, in the membership, and even as a new client, you get a meal plan um, with your prepping the meal plan. I was even realizing at that point that some of the um, foods that I had in my refrigerator, in the cabinets, some of the things that I was in, in um, implementing in my week were were I was finding hidden sugars in a lot of things that you know you may not have realized or I didn't even realize. So for example, um, a can of kidney beans that I put in my chili had sugar in them. I mean, why does kidney beans need sugar? I don't know, but, um, and then um, some other sneaky sugars in there. So like, my, um, but I had that in my refrigerator from previously and I was just gonna use it up anyway. So anyways, um, point being, I wasn't perfect. There were some sneaky hidden added sugars in some of my meals this week. Um, you know, I had leftover soup from Sunday that I wasn't going to let go to waste. I ate that even though, you know, there was minimal added sugar there. Um, but for the most part, I did really, really well. And I think one of the main things that helped me to stay on course was, um, number one, the meal plan, which was highly helpful extremely helpful and then also the meal prep that I did um, 30 minutes on Monday is all it took and, and I was really set up for success but I'll talk about that here in a second but I wanted you guys to know that although I was pretty much on track throughout the entire week we came to yesterday and um, uh, Oaks had a sleepover and I decided I was gonna make cookies for the boys well normally um, when I make cookies, David always fusses at me or laughs at me, whatever. And he's like, you know, you can't make cookies without eating half of the cookie dough before you make the cookies. Or if I make brownies, I'm going to eat the whole pan of brownies. So don't expect to get any brownies um, yourself because I'm probably going to eat them all before you get a chance. But anyway, so I decided to make these cookies and that was really not a good idea, honestly. But I was like, well, you know, I'll just have one. It's it's okay, you know. So, I caved and I ate a cookie, but here is the crazy part where um, I just haven't had that desire as much this week and actually a lot less than what I normally have been probably the biggest benefit for me so far with this challenge is it has just greatly reduced my cravings, which is something that I desperately needed to get in check. So this has been a really, really great experience for me so far. I did have a couple of headaches through the first couple of days. Um, not a bad one, just kind of a dull, you know, not feel my 100%, but not in the bed sick. Um, and, you know, those first couple of days, I didn't feel the best, but here I am, you know, seven days in and I feel really good. So, um, I thought the cookie thing was, although, you know, I wasn't supposed to have that and that's not part of the 21 day <laughs> elimination challenge. Um, I really should have said no to that altogether, but I consider that a huge win for me because, um, of where I would normally be in that kind of situation. So you, if you know me, you know I love sweets and that's something that's hard for me to turn down. So I am doing really good actually. So, you know, that that's one thing that has gone away, but um, there's times when, you know, you just, it just kind of, you eat a whole lot more than you realize. So I'll grab a little mini candy bar at my in-law's house or the kids are eating ice cream. So I'll have a couple of um, spoonfuls or, you know, they, they want me to make them something and I end up eating it. Or there's, you know, even in things that I would normally kind of, um, eat on a regular basis, like granola or dairy free yogurt, um, you know, it, anything like it has been <clears throat> so much better this week. Um, and then the last thing that I think is probably the most important thing that I've noticed this week is I have much less inflammation. And how I know that is because my rings are sliding off of my fingers. And normally um, at the end of the day, I'll have my, I'll feel a tightness in my hands. My rings will be tough to get off. Um, my ankles will even be a little bit swollen, those kinds of things. And I know that it's probably greatly 
me more successful with this is number one, the meal plan, which I've already mentioned. That was huge. And then meal prepping. Um, I've kind of gotten away from that um, this summer. And what I realized after Monday was that it is a deal breaker for me or it's a make or break situation. When I meal prep, I am on my game for the week. And so, you know, it, it can be sometimes um, a little bit overwhelming but I'm telling you, it's worth it to take 30 minutes of your of one day a week and just get yourself plant, prepped for the week. Um, and that is probably the number one thing that I have done this week that has set this week up for success and made this week so much more successful than the, pre the previous weeks. Um, you have much less room for error whenever you are um, prepared. So if you fail the plan, you wait if you plan to fail wait what's the thing and you know i don't make the best decisions in that game time decision making so when i have a plan it's much better also i have been um I had, I had set a goal. So I have something to work towards. And I think that was huge for me is having something to, um, look forward to setting a goal. Um, if you don't have a goal, then what do you have to work towards? Um, and for me, that was number one, going into the holidays, feeling in control. And then number two, I have, um, our anniversary trip coming up at the first of November. So this is the perfect time for me to do that. So that has t definitely helped keep me on track. Um, another thing that I have done this week that I think has helped is I've still had, you know, sweet things, but just healthier sweet things. So one of the things I've had every day is a smoothie. Um, and my favorite has just been frozen blueberries and banana, spinach, collagen peptides instead of protein powder, um, and, and almond milk. And that has been a delicious little treat for me each day. And I think that has definitely kind of kept that crazy to even dialing it in more next week. So even, you know, further eliminating those sneaky sugars, I'm going to not make a mistake and um, enjoy a cookie on Saturday just because now I know that it really wasn't even worth it. It wasn't even that good. So I was like, this is stupid. <laughs> I didn't need that cookie. Um, and now I don't even want it. So um, that, was, that was good for me. And now next week is gonna be even better. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, Staying hydrated was another huge key. I drank tons and tons of water this week, so that was a really good, um, the faster way with me, now is the time to join. Um, you'll have that meal plan, the live workouts, the digital fitness studio, all of these wonderful things in addition to this um, sugar elimination challenge, which is just going to take your results to the next level. So I want you to be in control of your sugar cravings. I don't want that I don't want sugar to to control you. I want you to be able to control it. I want you to be able to say yes or no. I want you to turn on and off that switch um, without feeling like it is controlling you through the holiday. Do the faster way. Get registered. Start with us tomorrow. Give it 10 days of whole food nutrition, and I promise you it's going to be well worth it. There is, challenge is required for change, but you have to start somewhere and this is the very best, best place to start. So join me tomorrow. If you are a new client, October 14th, um, we're starting a new round of The Faster Way. Returning clients, make sure you get registered for membership so we can continue on our journey through this sugar elimination challenge and I'll check back in with you all later this week. Bye.